now you, what you want to do is flip this back, hold it under tension, yeah. As you see, there's got the uh, notches there, and this uh, reverse latch is gonna stick between the groove there, just like that. All right. So if I hold this down, you'll hear it click. Good stuff. All right. Beautiful. <coughs> now I'll go to part two. Okay. So this is the plunger I'm running. Now I just got this alloy uh, tip here that came in the mail yesterday, so I thought I'd put that on. And you can find this at Chainsaw Products. Uh, if he's not listing them there, uh, Zendu from eBay. Yeah, that's where you can find it. And they're about 15 bucks. Can't remember 15, 14, 16, around there. Alright. Now make sure you clean everything thorough before reassembling uh, your plunger to in the gearbox. Make sure that's pressed in. You don't want to see a seal hanging out, make sure it's nice and tight in there. Okay. Now there's probably many of you that already know how to do this. Uh, this video is focused on uh, the viewers that do not know how to uh, assemble a gearbox for a JM. JM M4A1. Beautiful. So that's there. Now, <clears throat> what I want to show you is the, uh, I've got two plungers here, alright, they look exactly the same, uh, but this one's actually pretty mounted, and if you don't upgrade to the metal rail on the bottom, uh, and you're running 1.3 and above, 1.3mm uh, spring to 1.4, uh, expect this to happen down the track, alright, and I've tested this enough, I've probably munted about five of these, <laughs> so yeah, paste upgrade that, uh, and also to the green o-ring, here we see here, now I'm just going <coughs> to show you what you should be looking out for, it should be nice and tight, you should have to just press that in there, alright, so you've got a beautiful seal, make sure you lube it up using synthetic uh, grease all right and as you can see when I tip it up it does not fall out it's got a beautiful here this that's that's holding it it's holding the pressure there that's how tight it is all right okay we'll just go and show you the factory look at that loose as a goose for that flopping around I actually um, yeah disassembled uh, this one from another blast I had. Uh, reason being, I just lost pressure. Now these black seals are notorious for losing pressure. But what I can <coughs> show you is if you, you can actually get a lighter and carefully run it around the blue part of the flame without burning it, and you can stretch it. All right. So I do this with all the O-rings. Can I work it out on that? You might find <coughs> doing that, you might not have to upgrade to a green one. As you can see, that's what you want to see. You want to see it like oversized, just oversized. Okay, now as you can see, I'll put that back in here. So we'll go back in. 
Come on. Now, look at that. Won't fall out. And that'll stay like that too. So it'll be just as good as the green. Yes, look that won't. I can't push that forward. That's air, that's airtight. That goes to show you that we got a nice compression seal. <clears throat> so let's go ahead, uh, assemble this, put it in the gearbox. Alright, beautiful. So there we have it. Let's bring our gearbox out. Beautiful. Alright. Go to my tray full of goodies. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, okay, so what we want to do is we want to get this spring here. Loop it around there. Actually I'll put it on this so it looks better. Just like so. Alright. And go ahead and oh, wrong screws. Go ahead and put your screws in. I'm using a kidney magnet from uh, an old hard drive, which comes in handy. Uh, they happen to be a neodymium magnet, so they're pretty strong, which is good. Now you can see I haven't put that little corner cap in there, dust cap, dust cover, whatever you want to call it. You can leave that to a last so you can put it in there before, doesn't really matter. You can go ahead and fast forward this part if you like. You might find this, uh, some viewers might find this very boring. Okay. Now it's time to <coughs> put the uh, motor in. Right, there we go. One and two. Show you the different screw screwdriver at the back. Uh, you want to make sure these screws are nice and tight, and uh, use a screwdriver that won't strip the threads on it. Hence, why I'll change it over to a new screwdriver. Use one that's properly fitted, not ill-fitted, as you will go through your screws. 
believe me. Alright, so now it's time for the spring, uh, the end cap, and the barrel, and uh, we'll fire it up. So here's the uh, 1.2, and this is the 1.3. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but this is thicker. Alright. So this is the 1.3 spring I got from Chainsaw. Just gonna push it in there. Sometimes I can do this by hand. Alright, as you can see it's got a notch. Push that in and just twist. There you go. Done. Alright, now um <clears> okay <throat> hey, the barrel. Should have left that screw out for last, anyway. So this has got a bit of flex in it, and it's safe to do it like this. Alright, done. That's how you put your barrel in. Right, it's ready for a battery. Okay. All right. So now we want to stick our dust cover on. Okay, done. And it's ready for a test shot. And bring the camera back a bit. Where is it? I have to solder this wire back on, but that's alright. Yeah, mate, that's explosive gearbox right there. Cool. So I uh, hope this has helped. Any questions? Just leave a comment in the comment section. Cheers.